Hi everyone, Rach here from Inky Planners. Welcome to this video where I'm going to set my baseline for fountain pen use. Um, in this Hobonichi box I have got my current fountain pens uh, and some inks. Um, and I thought I would just share the journey. This is where I'm starting from because it's kind of exploded. <laughs> um, my fountain pen use actually started um, probably 40 years ago at school. Uh, it was part of one of the things we had to use. Um, I don't remember that much about it other than it had the little lever um, filling mechanism. Um, so really, the, even though it, I've started using it back then, there was a huge gap where I didn't use them. And then probably about five years ago, um, I started to become interested in again, but then it paused until um, just recently. So I started out, I reckon, with this um, Jinhao X750. Um, and this is a cartridge pen. Um, I suspect that was my first one and from there I ended up getting two Lammies and again they are cartridge. I, I felt at the time that um, cartridges were easier to manage for me um, and along with getting the cartridges I stumbled across the, um, where are we, the J. Herben I'm hopeless at French, uh, ink cartridges. So um, I've got a little collection I'll show you in a moment and this is in here for a reason because that's what's in the black Jin Hao. Um, I obviously have Lamy stuff in the Lamy. Um, and then in the last month um, watching a few videos, I had no idea there was a world of fountain pen videos on YouTube um, and I've had the most marvellous time and a huge list of <laughs> inks I'd like to try. Um, so I basically went down the road of fillable, refillable pens. So I ordered in the same order from Jet Pens in the USA, I ordered a Platinum Preppy, spoiler alert, I do not like, uh, and I got a Twiz, Twizby Eco, is that how you say it? With the the piston twill, piston fill, which I do like. Um, I the reasoning for this possibly is the ink color. It may be the nib. Both of these are extra fine. These three, I actually don't know what um, size nibs they are. They're either fine or medium, though. I would hazard a guess. Um, so that is my starting point. Um, so uh, ink, what came first? So ink cartridges. So I discovered these little um, ink cartridges and I um, got a few. So I have red. I'm not even going to go down the French line. I've got red. I've got a lime green. Oh, are we just in the frame? Let's come a little bit closer. Um, I am dying to try this um, purple. A sort of a more brighter red I would say. Rouge Opera. A blue. Don't even let me try saying that. Um, so those were the initial... If I take out those two, that was my initial starting. Whoop, hold that thought over here. Along with Lamy cartridges. So I'm not going to go through the cartridges. Um, so then this is a new order and along with that I ordered three bottles, little, um, what are they, 10 mil bottles of the um, Herbin. People say it much better than me. So I've got a grey, which is very pretty, um, a pink I have yet to try, um, and a green again and I have not tried that and there is a reason for that that I also ordered a second lot of orange um, because what got me going back into this is um, I actually 
got myself a five year, a Hobonichi five year um, diary. So each section is a year and then you've got a blank page. And I thought that I would like one year would be one colour, one year would be another colour, blah, blah, blah keep it in the screen um, and I thought that I would start with the orange um, which is why I ordered another one of those and this was before I had ordered these two um, so this is kind of like the second thing that got or the first thing on the new adventure that got ordered then I ordered the fillables and the bottles so going forward I will go down the bottle line and not so much the cartridge line um, but I have just placed an order to get another cartridge pen because I'm sure that there are converters for the Lammies to use um, more universal cartridges. But, you know, I've got Lammy cartridges to use up anyway. So I've gone for another cartridge pen to use up some of these as well because this will stay orange while I use that next year until I've exhausted these and then I will go down the liquid line and then fillables. So um, that is where I am at. They are all currently inked and I'll just try and find the page. I actually might do a quick flip through. So if I just move those over there. Oh, and I did also get a syringe because I was seeing, in fact, yeah, I was seeing about people, you know, you can, once you've emptied a cartridge, you can refill it using a syringe with anything, basically. So clean it and refill it. So I did order a syringe. Um, so let's just push these back out of the way. So I haven't swatched um, anything yet, um, but I have started a ink journal and I have got coming a B6 Tomo River Paper journal um, as well and both of those will be to do with inking so this is a Loistrum um, and this is more the journal side of things so what's inked what's in the halls um, practice writing things and the little B6 Tomo River Paper will solely be a colour swatch so I will swatch in here and I will swatch in the other one. So in this so far I have just, and this is all written in the fountain pens at the moment. Um, so I've just got the index. Now I'm in New Zealand uh, and to get anything of any real range generally you have to order from America. Um, and I have used jet pens in the past but it they take a long time and it verges on the parcel is lost length of time um, and I happened to stumble upon an Australian channel and she introduced me to Desk Bandit which is an Australian online store I don't know if it's a bricks and mortar but it's I know it's online uh, out of Western Australia so that's a lot easier for me um, what I have also discovered is that there are two online um, stores here in New Zealand that sell fountain pen supplies, inks and pens and bits and bobs. Um, so what I have done is at each of those stores I have listed the brands of ink that they sell and then what's good about Desk Bandit is that they sell samples whereas the stu two stores here in New Zealand don't so I have ticked all the brands that Desk Bandit has as samples so this is one store and this is um, the this grey light grey where are we where's the camera where's the camera goodness me get it right I can't even tell if that's right um, so this is very pretty, um, ooh, pump. hopefully that's not too blurry, I can't, I won't be able to tell until it's up on the big screen I'm afraid, such is my eyesight. So that's one store and then that's the other store, again ticking what samples I can get. So my plan 
I'll hide that for a minute. Um, my plan going forward is to get samples from Desk Bandit and then once I've selected the bigger size bottles, we'll aim to get them here in New Zealand. So I will primarily concentrate on the ones that I can get in New Zealand, um, but not exclusively. Um, there are going to be things that um, it disbanded have that we don't have here in New Zealand and I'll, and I'll order if I like. So um, one of the things that I thought I would try and do is improve my penmanship a bit. Uh, when I lived in the UK 10 years ago I used to be a childcare assessor so I used to have to write observations. It's in speed at time, at the time and my writing has become like chicken scratch. So I thought that I would also work on my pen, penmanship um, and I was trying to figure out you know if I can do quotes and stuff like that but I'm actually going to do song lyrics song lyrics for my favorite songs so this is the first one that I have uh, included uh, and this is Journeys Faithfully that I only discovered this year um, did not know the song existed and I absolutely love it so this is the orange uh, where are we camera camera <laughs> <laughs> this is this uh, orange hairbin here. I'm going to put it in the translator thing and someone can tell me how you say that. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely orange, which is why I kind of want to use it for next year. So that's, hopefully as the book goes on, my penmanship will improve. Um, and then, so this is my currently inked page and this is showing all the colors um, and you can see where are we oh goodness right there is the platinum preppy with the yellow and it's a it's a platinum I'll just show the violet one so it's the yellow version of this uh, um, so I don't know if it's a combination of the light ink and the extra fine nib it's quite scratchy I'm not enjoying it I don't know whether to just discard it um, or just use it up um, and then these are the two Lamy colors interestingly I noticed that um, I I'm wondering if this turquoise has gone bad because it's certainly not the same as that anymore um, and I don't know if I've got things in the wrong anyway I do like the Lamy blue um, and I do love this grey and obviously I like, like the orange. So those are my five pens currently inked at the moment. Uh, and then I am just preparing for my first swatch, um, which hopefully will happen in the next, within the next week. Um, and then I just recorded here, these are all the pens that, basically these pens that I have got <laughs> and if you can actually read it this is prior to the big orders <laughs> because I have gone mad um, and then there's nothing else yet in here so in the post coming to me I have um, a whole lot of samples from Desk Bandit a dip pen and the Tomo River paper notebook uh, I have in looking around things, I just need to adjust my foot and not bang the tripod. Um, in looking around, I discovered the Diamine Ink Vent calendar. Um, and I lusted, and then I was like, I can't buy this from America because the postage will be as much as the advent calendar. So bye bye advent calendar and then I discovered it in Australia except that the store in Australia only ships within Australia so bye bye advent calendar again um, and then when I discovered I, I knew about one of the New Zealand shops I didn't know about the second and then I discovered it I don't know if I put the advent calendar in as a search or I just was searching something but I found it in New Zealand so I have samples from Desk Bandit, I have the Diamine Ink Vent Advent Calendar coming, I have 
another order that has got two sort of gift box sets of ink vi you know small sizes like this um coming and i think that's it oh no and then i've got another <laughs> <laughs> the the fourth order that must be that's got this other relatively cheapish cartridge pen um, and I also wasn't going to just send for one pen um, I think I've got another couple of small bottles of ink I threw in the basket as well so um, there's quite a lot of stuff um, while it will all arrive to me um, relatively quickly some of it three of it are all from within New Zealand so it should all arrive relatively quickly um, then the Australian one will take a week or so to get to me um, I will spread out um, the videos for them um, over the course of December as far as the ink event calendar um, I probably will just do a video at the end of the week um, showing um, I'll probably do it every eight days um, showing the previous eight days and swatching them um, rather than A doing it as one lot or B opening it all in one go which I don't want to do I want to enjoy it every day but I don't want to do little clips every day um, my editing skills are not top notch <laughs> um, so I think I have covered everything I don't make notes I go by the seat of my pants um, where possible I try to be a one take wonder but it doesn't always work that way um, and it won't be able to work that way with with showing these sorts of things here I'll have to pull my socks up so anyway this is where I'm starting from and it's going to look very different in a month's time <laughs> there will be another pen in here um, oh <laughs> there are five orders on their way uh, because the fifth order is from Amazon uh, and I actually have um, five more of these pens coming um, which are piston filled as well they're not cartridge pens hopefully um, I've read it right and chosen the right thing so yeah there'll be more in here there'll be a lot more of this and there will be more notebooks <laughs> so there we go if you enjoy fountain pen videos consider subscribing and following along my journey uh, and i will catch you again soon in another video thanks everyone bye for now hi there uh, me again i thought i would just tack this on to uh, the end of the fountain pen video uh, because this literally has just arrived um, and it is <laughs> not as protective as I would have liked possibly considering it's well I don't know if it is actually um, bottles or it feels heavy enough it's the Diamine Ink Vent Calendar wow so we get, I don't, I'm reluctant to look too much on the back. I do feel a little bit worried about it, I will be honest. Um, I don't want to get any spoilers. No, there are no spoilers. Um, so 24 12ml bottles and one 30ml bottle. Made in the UK. Liverpool. Okay. Lovely, lovely box. Um, if I just do that, hopefully then we can look at the trees on the side. The ink vent calendar. 25 bes bespoke fountain pen inks. One a day for the winter countdown. Well, summer here in New Zealand. Uh, so, I will just put this away for two weeks. Um, and, uh, yeah, look forward to opening it. So... I think I said in the earlier part of the video that uh, I will probably, I'll do a, f a video after uh, 8, after 16 and after 25 I think. Um, I don't think I will film little clips. Um, I, I have an Instagram 
mm, called inky planners as well i wonder if i will photograph them and put them up there i don't know um <laughs> we will see anyway um yay it has arrived so that is one thing off my list of things that is coming there are 25 new ink colors in here i am so happy okay uh right as you were back to saying goodbye and i'll catch you again in another video bye for now